So now that this invoice has been viewed, and, and if we go back, uh, we can actually, so I'm, I'm actually looking at it from the standpoint of the invoice recipient right now, but if we go back to the uh, sender's standpoint, we can see that uh, if you go here to the dashboard, that uh, it has been viewed, so you have confirmation of that. Let's go on and pay this invoice and we'll see what happens. So do I've enabled Amazon FPS as the payment gateway for this. I'm going to uh, go on and use my account here. They've kind of anonymized my credit card information, so I wanted to give that away to the world. And so I'm going to pay this invoice with, uh, with my American Express. So the payment's processing right now, and a couple of things are going to happen. First, as soon as the payment processes, it's going to retire this in invoice. And so it actually just redirected us back to Accu Invoice, and we can see right here that the invoice has, in fact, been closed. If we go back to the view of the invoice sender, so here it is. It's showing it was an open invoice. If we refresh it now, it should be closed. And, in fact, it is right here. If we click on the invoice, we'll see that Here's the payment ID number that came in from Amazon.com. It's instant. So the other thing that happens is that the AccuInvoice Simple Store gets informed that this payment has been received. And when that happens, it's going to deliver those digital goods that I purchased. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my email inbox. And I should, uh, either now or in a minute or so, receive an email that tells me that I can download the digital goods that I've just purchased and it automates the delivery of that following the completion of the transaction. So let's go into my inbox here. Let's fetch my mail. The payment got here. And here it is from the Charlie store. It took about a minute, as you can see. So you can tell that I got this link right here. And what it says, it says just the text that we had in our in the emails that we defined in the previous video. And it shows the download link for this item. And you'll notice that it says it's valid for two days and a maximum of two downloads. Now, one thing that's important to note here is that this download URL right here is uh, specific for this transaction and it masks the, the lo true location of the digital good. So even though your purchasers get this URL, uh, this is not where it you know, officially resides on the server so that uh, not anyone can, can access this after this maximum of two days or maximum of two downloads has been surpassed. So let's go on and, and uh, click this. And you can see that it initiates in Safari the download of this item and then it's about a 1.7 megabytes I believe 0.8 and so here's the the full resolution picture of my son that I just purchased off the Charlie store so as you can see what we've done is we have uh, in a series of three videos now shown how to install and configure the AccuInvoice Simple Store. We'll go back to the actual storefront here. We've shown how to initiate a purchase in the Simple Store, and then we've gone through the process of paying for the actual digital good, and finally we've had that digital good delivered. Importantly, all of the information that's necessary for the transaction is automatically passed to your AccuInvoice account and makes it incredibly simple to keep track of what you've sold, to whom you've sold that, and it automates the delivery of those items. Again, this is a free piece of code that we're putting out, and we hope that the AccuInvoice community finds it useful, and we thank you for using AccuInvoice, and please contact us at support at AccuInvoice.com if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you.